Hey guys, it's Gina Polnip, aka Lil Ruski, and today I am gonna show you how to make your press on nails last forever. So, I usually like having my press on nails for a pretty long time. I would say anywhere between three weeks to a month. I do get bored pretty fast and I kind of get sick of having them on, so I tend to take them off at the three week mark. I did take these off just a few days ago. I left one on just so I can show you how to take them off. When picking your press on nails, I typically do not recommend getting the nails from like Target, Walgreens, CVS. I personally think they're way overpriced and they're pretty bad quality. And they're not that cute to be honest. I am using a set from Timu. These were $2. My last set that I had on was actually from Timu. They were also $2 and those lasted me three weeks. Typically, I don't recommend getting these cheaper Timu nails. I would say these genuinely last a good solid 10 days before at least one of them falls off. When I get nails from like Glamnetic or any small business brand that paints their nails, those typically last like two weeks to three weeks before one of them comes off. But we make them last forever. So just because one falls off doesn't mean your whole manicure gets ruined. You can just put it back on using the same exact steps. Duh. They usually give you about 24 nails. So you could have a whole last second set if you want. Before you start, I need you to have with you some rubbing alcohol. Usually your press on nails, if you get from Glamnetics or small business brands, they'll already provide you some rubbing alcohol. However, I'm using Timu nails and Miss Timu does not use rubbing alcohol, so I have my own. Cotton swab. I, okay, so your press on nails will come with an adhesive or with something, something to put them on. I don't want you to use that girl because if you're gonna use that, those babies are gonna pop off within a day. I get Glamnetics. This is your girl, Glamnetics. It lasts forever. It works well. It makes application a million times easier. You'll need a nail file. I have my heavy duty nail file and my regular nail file. You will also need nail clippers. Men's nail clippers preferably. I don't know why the girl ones suck. These are great. I got them on Ross with this, $5. In order to easily remove your nails, I typically recommend getting a press on nail remover. Again, your girl Glamnetics has it. However, I wear my nails so long that at the point where I do need to take them off, I don't need that, but it does make it a lot faster, pain-free, and easier. So if you wanna do that, by all means, it's gonna make your life easier. However, if you don't wanna get the press-on nail adhesive remover, then I'll show you how to go ahead and do it without that. So in order to take off these press-on nails without the press-on nail adhesive remover, I'm gonna grab a bowl of soapy water or just run your hands under a sink with some soap just for a few minutes just to get that nail adhesive nice and warm. If you do spend a lot of time in the water, these press-on nails are not gonna last as long. I am someone who is a server and a bartender, so my hands are constantly in water and these still last me a long time. But I'm saying like if you're in the pool all the time or if you're swimming in the ocean every day, these aren't gonna last you that long. I hate to break it to you, but the more water you're gonna be working with, the faster these are gonna fall off. After you've soaked your hands in some soapy water for about like, I don't know, two to five minutes, you're gonna go ahead and start using your nail file and we're gonna start kind of opening up the sides right here. Typically, I use one of my previous press-on nails to start kind of taking this nail off. Makes it a little easier. You can already see when you do that, it's already starting to slowly come up. It's gonna hurt a little bit, but it's not that serious. Now we're gonna go ahead and prepare our nails for our press-on nail application. So the first thing I do to prepare my nails after I took off my previous press-on nails is I like to go ahead and cut them kind of short. I just prefer a smaller base so that you can't see my natural nail under the press-on nail. I like to make the press-on nail look as perfect and as real as possible. I went ahead and cut my nails pretty short, as you can tell. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my nail file as you can see, there's still a little bit of adhesive on my natural nail, so I'm gonna go ahead and file my natural nail as much as possible. I like to really get on that nail and just file off all of that adhesive. And the scritchier your nail bed is, the longer and the easier it is for that adhesive to stay on your nail. That's a really important part of this. After I go ahead and file my nail bed, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the sink and really give my hands a nice rinse so that I get off any excess nail dust 
After that, I'm gonna go ahead one more time and give my nails a nice scritchy scritchy. The first time I went ahead and did that was just so I can get all the glue off. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do it one more time so that the nail is super scritchy so that that glue sticks nice and well. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and push my cuticles back as much as possible so that I do have a decently big base from where the nail grows. And I'm just gonna rinse my hands off one last time and then use rubbing alcohol before I go ahead and apply my nails. In order to apply the press-on nails, I like to start from both pinkies and then gradually go to my thumbs. So I do both pinkies, then I do my fourth finger, my middle finger, indexes, and then my thumb. I find it a lot easier to do it this way, so you can go ahead and do it that way as well. First, I'm gonna choose which press-on nails match my natural nails the most. The goal is to make sure that none of your natural nail will be able to be seen under the press-on nail or else it just doesn't look that good. And you also don't want it to be too big because that's just gonna be really uncomfortable. Once I'm ready to apply my press-on nails, I really like using the press-on nail to go ahead and move my cuticle back. Once you've chosen your nails, I want you to go ahead and grab your glue and you're gonna start by putting some of the adhesive glue on the press-on nail, let that get nice and tacky, and then you're gonna put the glue on your natural nail. And then I go ahead and carefully put the nail on my actual nail. You wanna make sure that you apply the nail as close to the cuticle as possible and make sure you press on that nail for at least 10 to 15 seconds. And then I repeat the process to my other pinky. See, this is why I cut the nails. <laughs> now, these are super freaking cute. However, I work in the bar, I work at a restaurant. These are way too long for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut them. I'm gonna press on them one more time just so I know that adhesive is for sure, for sure on. Look at that. It literally looks like my natural nail. You won't ever be able to tell me that these are press-ons. And I get compliments on my nails all the time, so People literally think these are real and that I get them at the salon. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut them to my liking. When doing your nails, it's super important that you genuinely give yourself enough time to do so. I typically give myself anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes to put on my press-on nails so that I know that they're gonna last a long time. When I go ahead and file my nails, I really do take my time with it just because I really wanna make sure that the adhesive is gonna stay on and it's gonna stay on for a long time and especially during those bartending shifts that I have when my hands are constantly in water. And have fun with it because it's fun to be girly and femme and do your nails. All right, thank you so much for watching this tutorial guys I really hope you enjoyed it and I really hope that it makes your press on nail game nice and strong And you won't have to break the bank to have cute fun nails that last you a lifetime I am literally obsessed with these. They came out so good in my opinion I will let you guys know in the comments down below how long they're gonna last me, but I am obsessed. I think they're so cute. I love the way I cut them. I think the shape is just perfect. The others were just like too long for me, too long. Fun fact, I haven't posted a video in two years, but go ahead and use that Glamnetic referral link if you want 20% off your next purchase for some nice quality nails, some nice quality adhesive glue, and they're known for their lashes. I don't know how to put press on lashes, but if you want me to go ahead and do a tutorial, I will figure it out just for you. Also, I forgot to mention, once you're done with your press-on nails, try to avoid water for at least two hours. Really, really important. Try to avoid water for at least two hours just so that you know that adhesive is staying, okay? Don't put your nails in no water for at least two hours, okay? If you do, it's not the end of the world, but try not to, okay? Bye guys, love you so much. Peace.